Hello everyone. I'm still here at the Woodlawn Memorial Park in Nashville, Tennessee. Some of my past videos from here, I visited the grave of such country music stars as Eddie Arnold, Red Foley, Webb Pierce, and Marty Robbins, just to name a few. Just a short walk from the graves of Webb Pierce and Marty Robbins is the final resting place of a country music star who got his start up in my neck of the woods, southwest Virginia, and southern West Virginia. Here, on the hillside, we find the grave of Mail Street. He was born King of Malachi Street in Grundy, Virginia on October 21st. His actual year of birth is somewhat in dispute. Many Nashville publications list his year of birth as 1933. His family says he was born in 1935. And to further complicate matters, his grave marker shows 1936. When Mel was about 16, he began performing on local radio stations and at local events throughout Southwest Virginia and Southern West Virginia. He realized he could make a decent living performing, so he moved to Ohio where he took a job as a radio tower electrician. He soon found out that this wasn't for him and once again began performing in local nightclubs before moving back to Bluefield, West Virginia, where he opened an auto body shop to supplement his income. Mel became one of the region's most popular performers, which led him to his own TV show on WHIS, which is now WVVA in Bluefield, West Virginia. The show lasted four years, during which time he would write and record his first single, Borrowed Angels. His recording of Borrowed Angels was for a small local label. While the song became a local favorite, it didn't receive much national attention. Then in 1972, the song was picked up and marketed by Royal American Records. With Royal American promoting the song, it became a top 10 hit on the Billboard charts. With the success of Borrowed Angels, Mel left the comforts of his roots and moved to Nashville. Shortly after moving to Music City, Mel released his biggest hit, Love It On Backstreet, Live It On Main, which reached number five on the country charts. Mel followed up Love It On Backstreet with a number of other hits, including Forbidden Angel, If I Had A Cheating Heart, and Smoky Mountain Memories. During the 1970s, Mel was one of country music's most popular and successful performers. But success was taking its toll on Mel as he battled depression and turned to alcohol. He continued to record and perform and few people knew of his battle with depression and his depression deepened and his dependency on alcohol got worse. In 1978, Mel signed with Mercury Records, but he was still severely depressed. A few weeks later, on his birthday, October 21st, 1978, Mel Street lost his battle with depression and took his own life. Mel died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound at his home in Hendersonville, Tennessee. This is where I'm going to end this video. If you remember Mail Street or any of the people that we visit in these videos, I hope you will consider sharing your memories in the comments. And remember, 
I post a new video every Sunday morning, so if you enjoy this type of content, I hope you'll consider ringing that bell and subscribing. And while you're at it, a thumbs up is always appreciated. So until next time, remember, life is a wonderful journey. Be sure to take time and enjoy it. And I'll see you down the road. So long, everyone.